Welcome to a new episode of A Journey with Joanna Marie, where passion and fashion lead to your ultimate success. I'm your host, Joanna Marie, and today we're going to be joined by another fantabulous human being who I personally know. Bago pa lang po kaming magkaibigan, but her achievements, they really amaze me. She's a certified public accountant, she's a mom, she's an entrepreneur, and at the same time, she's leading a team of people who has already served 500 people in the insurance industry. In fact, MDRT po siya, or Million Dollar Roundtable member, for many years already. So I'm sure you're excited to know her, right? And learn from her. So without further ado, let's call her in. Welcome to the show, Ruthie. Thank you so much, Joanna, for inviting me into your show. I'm very honored. And we're so grateful to you for saying yes and for supporting our beneficiary for today's episode. Dami ko nang mention about you, Ruthie, and I'm sure our viewers, they're so excited to learn from you. So, can you please share a little bit more who is Ruthie C. Wanson? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ruthie C. Wanson. I am a certified public accountant and an executive financial planner. I'm married. I have two children, and yes, behind those success, I also came from a broken family, kaya sobrang um, lapit ko sa mga taong galing din sa broken family, kagaya ko. I really stood up to myself and really study hard to really have a new faith of life. Yes. Ka nga, kasi mm -hmm. we have the power to change our life exactly. from being a broken person to really achieving our breakthrough into our, into our life. Yes, and I totally agree with you. But of course, maybe some of our viewers is thinking, how did you do it? Gano kahirap or gano kadali yung naging journey mo na papaano mo na naging, papaano mo na palakas yung sarili mo that despite having that kind of background, you are now living your life according to how you designed it. Papaano naging transition? What are the things that you did? Or can you share a little um, tip sa mga manunood natin na probably meron din silang pinagdadaanan na heartache or pain right now at nangihirapan sila to move forward? Yes. Uh, so when I was a child, I was left in my grand grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. And also, um, during that time, nahirap talaga, Joanna. I was only five, uh, grade five mm -hmm. then, 11 years old. So young. So young, as mm -hmm. in. And I really felt abandoned, mm -hmm. yung unloved, unworthy. Mm -hmm. So, parang, bakit ako iniwan ng nanay ko or sa akin ng tatay ko? Bakit bakit ako nandun mag-isa lang, ba't yung mga kapatid ko hindi ko kasama? Mm -hmm. Bakit yung kapatid ko kasama nila? Mga ganun, mga ganun tanong. But then, I realized that um, God is protecting me. Mm -hmm. So, what is holding me is my faith. That holds me mm -hmm. to where I am today. Because I think, if wala ko noon, baka isa na rin ako sa mga nawala sa landas, yes, ganyan. Yes. But, I'm not perfect, ha? Uh, marami rin times na nawala din sa landas, pero bumabalik lang ulit. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, nandun tayo sa ganun space. Yes. Yeah, and I, I am always thinking that I have the power. Mm -hmm. The power to shift where I was before and, yeah, to my vision. Yes. So at the end of the day, you have yourself and you have your own divine creator na siya talagang nag-hold sa'yo despite yes. of all the many challenges. Sabi nga nila, diba, parang in life, when you feel like you are alone, you're not really alone because there's somebody and there's a higher power na kailangan mo lang talagang sabihan na, hey, I need your help right now. Yes. And the power of community is very important. And also self-belief. And I think yun yung pinaka-importante ingredient in your success right now eh, na regardless no hindi talaga hindi ka talaga pumayag hindi mo talaga pinaniwalaan yung belief na unworthy ka or unloved ka just because these people na supposedly there for you hindi ka nila na asikas so yes yes um sabi nga nung isa kong kabarkada alam mo kung ako yung nasa katayuan mo baka na pariwara na ako ngayon mm -hmm. so, sabi ko sa kanya Wala, ito talaga yung choice ko. I need to be a better student because I want to shift my life from yes. where I am today. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. kung hindi ko gagalingan ngayon, masasayang yung chance ko to change my yes. future. So, yun yung, yun yung sabi ko sa isa kong mga kaibigan mm-hmm. when I was in high school. Yes. So, yun. Growing up, um, I really hold on to my faith, to my belief to myself. Kasi, importante yun eh, na maniwala mm-hmm. ko sa sarili ko. Yes. That's and, so true. Yeah. So, so that, um, with this, talagang study well and do the community service hanggang sa hindi ko na, na-realize, oops, graduate na na ako. <laughs> uh, you know what? What I love with what you are sharing to our viewers and to me right now is that I, th- I, I always say this kasi that I am a co-creator of my life. And I have my divine creator, who I call my daddy, to support me in manifesting every dream. So, what you are proving to us right now is that you are really co-creating your life. So, hindi nakakagulat na you become this person right now because you made the decision back then na hindi hindi ka magpapa-apekto with whatever circumstances that you have. And right now, you own your company. So, you are a CPA and then eventually, nag-start ka ng sarili mong accounting firm. Can you please tell us, how was the journey? Kasi sobrang bilib ako sa mga accountants, by the way, guys. Kasi ako, uh, okay lang ako. So, so lang ako sa math. And it's something talaga na, okay, I, I want to understand, I'm okay to understand, but not fully immerse myself into it. So, can you please yeah. tell us, ano yung journey being a CPA na parang doing things on your own and then having your own company? Okay, so after I passed the board exam, I took the corporate world for 10 years. Oh. 10 years then, I was an auditor, also a controller mm-hmm. of a Nalco company. But then, when I got married, syempre, di ba, nandun na talaga yung, yung moment na I want to have a complete and happy family. Which you didn't have kasi I grew yes. okay. So, nung nandun ako sa corporate world, nakita ko yung sarili ko na yung anak ko, tulog pag umaalis ako, mm. and tulog din siya pag dumadating ako ng bahay. Yes. So, I felt na I don't have time mm-hmm. for my child, for my eldest child mm-hmm. that time. So, I really brave myself to leap from being an employee to being an entrepreneur. Yes. So, so it's a quantum leap. Right? Yeah, it's a quantum leap. <laughs> Really. And at first, sobrang natakot pa ako. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, paano yung, ano ko, yung sustainability, ganyan. Yes. I am grateful that I am supported with by my husband. Mm-hmm. He's still working back then in corporate world as also. So, mm-hmm. I have a chance to try myself sa real world yes. of entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. So, ang dami nag invite to become a financial advisor. Also, sabi ko, this is my time to also practice mm-hmm. what I've learned from the corporate world mm-hmm. to the small companies yes. ba, in our, in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Spe- specific, specifically, Manila. Mm-hmm. So, dito na naman ako lumukin. So, yun. Um, nagparegister ako ng company, pinaregister ko yung sarili ko. And then I took the licensing exam mm-hmm. as an insurance advisor. Also, I took the exam in SEC mm-hmm. as an investment solicitor. Oh, so, para so I went through talaga yes. everything. But was it easy when you were starting? Were you able to get clients right away? Because there are many entrepreneurs. Uh, they started also as an uh, employee. Yeah. And then... Some people that I know, ang bilis nila nag-decision na, okay, I can do this in the real world. Only to find out na hindi pala ganun kadali. Like, because you are on your own already. Kung right. nahanap na client, you know, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to do as an entrepreneur. So, how was it when you were starting? Yes, ikaw lahat. Ikaw ang marketing, ikaw ang sales, ikaw ang operations, yes. ikaw din ang accounting, syempre. So, it, it, it was not easy. Mm-hmm. Wala namang madali. True. Talaga sa mundo. Pero, I was able to see the light mm-hmm. by really approaching people, uh, marketing myself in social media, also to my warm market specifically. Yes. Yes. 
as a CPA and then ask referrals talaga. Mm-hmm. Kasi if you don't ask referrals, it yes. will not really grow yeah. your business. Kasi referrals is really powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, kapag kakilala ka na nila, naging client, naging client mo na sila. And they were happy with your services. Yes. Yes. Right. It's, it's a problem right? strong yeah. your referrals. Mm-hmm. So, that really helped me. And during the course of time, what also helped me are the were the clients mm-hmm. na, uy, ang galing mo, natutuwa ako sa pagiging nice. courageous mo mm-hmm. that you're doing this. And they see the excellence mm-hmm. in how I do my work. Yes. Even if I meet the, alam mo yun, security guard, <laughs> yung mga Wala kang pinipilang tao. Yung yes. employees oh. who meet ko for insurance investment. Kasi they're really my advocacy yes. for them to really build their financial foundation strong, yes, resilient, mm-hmm. and hindi talaga masisira. Kasi mm-hmm. diba, maraming nag-invest, pero mawawala lahat. Yung so, this is the nila. reason kung bakit pinasok mo rin ang insurance, insurance industry, even though that you are already running your own accounting firm. Yes, kasi I really saw that Um, even a business owner, mm-hmm. they really don't know how to manage their own finances, their mm-hmm. own personal finance. Yes. So from business to personal finance, mm-hmm. matutunuan pa sila, well-rounded mm-hmm. um, financial advisor. Yes. Not just in their business, but also into their personal finance. Ganun din naman, kabalik na rin sa mga employee, mm-hmm. personal finance, then I want them to leave them going to business owners. Yes. So, ito naman yung call ko for this year to really build some trainings, mm-hmm. modules that can help employees mm-hmm. for them to be confident yes. to really leap mm-hmm. from being an employee to being an entrepreneur. Kasi mm-hmm. To also have the courage. Katulad. Yes, to also have the courage. Kasi maraming takot takot mag-negosyo dahil syempre sa LGUs, sa BIR lalo, yes. lalo na sa tax. Mm-hmm. So, hindi kasi nila alam what is there. So, yes. the fear of the unknown. Yes. So, I want to step up myself to really teach. Yes. Really teach. So, in terms of your passion, okay, um, can you give something to our viewers right now? When you were pursuing your passion and when you were starting on that, journey. Ano yung possible na advice na mabibigay mo sa kanina para hindi sila pang hinaan ng loob along the way? Alam mo yun, yung resilience, yung grit, yung yeah. courage, all these things, maging in touch with them regardless kung ano pa man yung possible na challenges sa dumating in their lives. For me, talaga number one is pray. So, mm-hmm. hold on to your faith mm-hmm. because your faith will really move you Move mountains, ika nga. Yes. Um, whatever is in your vision, believe into yourself. So, number two, believe. Mm-hmm. Pray, believe. Because no one else can move your own ma- mountain but only you. Mm-hmm. And, yun nga, sobrang powerful kasi na maniwala ka muna sa sarili mo. Kahit kasi mm-hmm. gano'ng kadaming tao yung maniwala sa'yo, yes. kung hindi ka naniniwala sa sarili mo, It won't happen. Yes. It Or happen. the other way around is that people will never start believing you until you start believing in yourself. Correct. Yes. Right. Because it's 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 different. You're it's different because you're coming from a different state and energy at the same time. Yes. So having said that, can you please share to our viewers, naman, any life hack that you have? When I say life hack. Probably this is something that you have been doing for a very long time in your life. Tapos, biglang na-realize mo, ah, ito pa lang something na to. Ito pa lang yung nakakatulong sa akin para it's easy for me to achieve my goals or it's easy for me to do something or achieve something. Meron ka bang mga life hacks? Probably give us one or two. Yeah. So, in connection with what I've said a while ago, pray, believe, yung third ko is my life hack. Just do it. Do it talaga. So, being a risk taker. Mm-hmm. So, I know that nandyan yung fear, nandyan yung doubt, but hell yeah, just go and jump and do it. Kasi, not unless you're trying something, you won't know what mm-hmm. is in store for you. Mm-hmm. Paano kung mag-work, diba? Pagay yes. nangyari sa akin, 
nag-work siya. Mm-hmm. And yes, hindi siya madali, pero uh, with the vision that you have, the dreams that you have, um, nandun yung mag-a-anchor sa'yo na, hindi, gusto ko buo yung pamilya ko, gusto ko masaya ka rin magkakasama. Yes. And yun talaga yung humawak sa akin eh, na gusto kong magkaroon ng mas magandang buhay mm-hmm. yung mga anak ko kumpara dun sa kung saan ako nanggaling before. Yes. So, that really holds me to where I am today. Yes. So, how do you define na magandang buhay na para sa'yo, pag na-achieve mo to, you feel like I have already accomplished something for myself and also for my kids. Kasi yun nga, sabi mo, it's something that you want to create for them. Yeah, magandang buhay for me is really within with my family, doing the business together, mm-hmm. and also living the life to the fullest mm-hmm. without thinking about money. Na we have peace of mind. Kasi mm-hmm. nakita ko yun eh. It's all about money, why my parents got separated. Mm-hmm. Pero kung talagang naayos yung financial foundation siguro ng pamilya namin before, mm-hmm. mas magiging magkakaroon sila ng peace of mind na all is well. And that's what I'm teaching today about financial literacy. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's naman, become an advocacy for you. Yes. Because okay. it's very personal. Correct. Correct. Mm-hmm. Hindi natin kailangan ng sobrang daming pera para magkaroon ng peace of mind. Yes. And yes, kailangan natin na insurance, diba? <laughs> so, napaka-simple ng buhay, um, Joanna. And, yun nga, you just need to be insured to yourself that I am saving, I am investing for mm-hmm. my future. And, yeah, as you do it, na confident ka na meron kang maitatagay para sa future mo. As a mother, can I ask you to please say something to all the mothers watching us today? One message that you can impart to everybody. Yeah, for all the mothers out there, step up, mommies. Um, you have the power to really be the light to others. Wag natin sayangin yung talento na binigay sa atin ni Lord. And at the same time, yung time, kaya natin maging ina at the same time, maging support to whatever expertise you have currently for other people, for them to step up their game into their life as well. So be a role model. Step up, mommy. Isang ganda nun, ha? Last question that I have for you, Ruby. Sobrang konti ng time natin, but you know what? I'm enjoying everything because I'm really learning a lot from you. So my last question for you would be about your fashion or your style, okay? Because we're passion and fashion if you're <laughs> yeah. ultimate success, right? So, how do you dress up? And what what made you decide that this is the way I want to show the world? And bakit ito yung naging foundation mo in terms of building your confidence and really showing yourself to a lot of people? Kasi sabi nga natin, diba? Uh, people would immediately create an idea or an opinion about us, even hindi pa tayo nagkasalita or wala pa tayong sinasabi sa kanila, three, second pa lang na, three seconds pa lang na nakikilala nila tayo, tinignan pa lang nila tayo, they already formed an opinion of us. So, for you, how important is it? And papaano siya nakatulong para mag-advance ka sa journey mo right? Yes, as to fashion, just be you. Ako ang number one ko na hindi kinakalimutan, lipstick. <laughs> Why? Because... Lipstick will really glow your face. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, um, syempre, maayos na hair, maayos na pananamit to whatever venue you are at. Kasi, mm-hmm. now, I am into professional attire because I am a uh, invited speaker. But when I am in an organization, pwede naka-jeans lang ako. Mm-hmm. Pero I always wear my lipstick. <laughs> Why? Kasi yun nga, parang, it's for me a fashion statement that I am beautiful, I am worthy, and I am capable of things. Hindi ako pwedeng tapahan lang ng kahit na sino. Mm-hmm. And I have, I have the right to speak. Yeah, yes. Kasi nga, lips, di ba? So, yeah, um, just being me is a fashion statement of excellence, yes. confidence, 
and being a strong woman. Yeah. Yes, I love it. You know what? It's as simple as lipstick. Eh? Because at the end of the day, that that tuna na dito sa millionaire mind intensive. Nothing has meaning except the meaning you put into it. So it can be yeah. a simple lipstick for others, but for you, it's an embodiment of your own power yeah. and empowerment at the same time. So you know what, Ruthie, so I'm like enjoy ako dito sa conversation natin. And I thank you for sharing a lot of things about you. And I'm sure all our viewers they pick up something that can help them in their own journey so. to success. I'm <laughs> sure. So, Ruthie, do you have a last message for all our viewers and anything that you want to promote them or anything that you want to invite and anybody that you also want to invite? Yeah, so firstly, thank you, Joanna, for inviting me here. And yeah, for those viewers who are watching right now, just be courageous and go and get the dreams that you want into your life. And it's never late. It's always perfect. Um, his timing is always perfect. So as for my services, I do executive financial planning to my clients. And kahit hindi ko pa executive, executive na ang service ko for you. Yes. And also, if you want to have your own business, you can approach me for a free coaching. And also, I will help you to build your business so that you can be a business owner. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, guys, you just have to follow Rupi on her social media handles na makikita niyo po below the screen. This episode is for the benefit of Bahay at Yaman ni San Martin de Porres. Maraming maraming salamat po for allowing us to support your cause. Also, a special thanks to Sam Shik for my outfit today and to Jennifer Martinez for my hair and makeup. Also, the hair and makeup of our special guest today. And maraming 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 salamat po to all our sponsors. Special thanks to the following. Sam Chick. Something Chick. Something Unique. Lores Enterprises. Lance Hair and Makeup Studio. Mabuhay PH Digital Network. RSJ Consultancy, Richmaker, and RM Financials. Thank you once again, Ruthie, for joining us in this very special episode and for the insights that you provided. And to you, our dear viewer, we hope that you were able to pick up something that you can use on your own journey to success. We look forward to seeing you for the next episode of A Journey with Joanna Marie. But for now, always remember that you are beautifully and fabulously created for a purpose. So always smile and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.